system here is broken, the social justice system here is broken, the political electoral system is broken, the whole system is broken. And twiddling around and trying to make this candidate or that candidate cool isn't going to solve it. The reason is that the people themselves are cut out of the political process. When we talk about political people, we're told that our role is to vote every four years for this party or that party. And that, and only that, is our role in the political process. Uh, first and foremost, I'm an activist. And what that means is that I see the problems in society, and I don't sit around every four years to vote for the lesser of the evils, but I try to organize my community based on the problems my community is facing. So right now, we're doing a tent city, and despite the police repression, we make sure that everyone gets food. We make sure that everyone has access to some sort of way in which people can sleep. And we have political education classes as well as other education classes. To me, this is what politics is. Us finding out what the problems is, sitting around discussions, and coming up with solutions. This is not what's happening in the political system. And we're told over and over again that the reason that people don't vote is because they don't care about politics. Meanwhile, hundreds of thousands of people are on the streets protesting the G20, protesting police murder, protesting poverty, but we're told that people are apolitical. The reality of the situation is people don't vote because there is no alternative. People, none of the political parties that are considered major political parties will do what is necessary to overhaul the system and change the system to allow the people to become the decision makers. And until that happens, the crisis that we're having right now will just deepen and deepen. Less than 2% of people are part of political parties. And that's because the political party system is becoming more and more a cartel. The riding associations are destroyed. People say are destroyed. And it's ironic that the Conservative Party that is in power now, at one point in time, pushed for the recall of candidates, pushed for the ideas of no election without selection, and pushed for the idea of accountability. And they're the ones right now who are at every corner destroying participation and stopping people from participating. I'm not saying that a vote will make a difference, but I do tell you, Voting for a Marxist Leninist candidate will send a message. But more than that, organize in your communities. These are all problems. Immigration, healthcare, unemployment, housing. These are all problems we face. And we can't let the politicians solve them for us because they won't solve them. It's not in their interest to solve them. We ourselves need to come together, organize in our different sectors, and come up with solutions to the problem. Because 30 seconds left. Because the reality, the, the reality is, that if we leave politics to the politicians, 
politics will always be a dirty thing. So I thank you for having me here, and I do want you to go out and vote, but more than that, I want you to become active in your community, and I want you to hold these people accountable, because the reality of the situation is someone is going to get into office, and they need to know that just because they get into office doesn't mean that we have to just let them rule by decree. Thank you. I got something to say, oh please Carol, just let me talk Oh, 